for Gavin. How you doing, bro? Doing well, my man. Awesome, man. Another great day. It's strength. You know, the best people will always do good. Super exciting news. I get back, and Casey Constantine, he helped organize my closet, and I just went shopping in my own closet, and I found clothes in there that I, I lost or forgot about. It was literally like shopping. We're talking like new clothes that I almost like never wore. And I found this nice polo shirt. This is a really, really nice shirt. I mean, this is not a piece of garbage. There was a lot of shirts like this. I'm like, you know, I could be wearing this and I forgot about it. I was like, there was so much. To, uh, anyways, it was, a, was, it was my fault. For not being Thank you, Casey, for doing that. Now I'm at the pool. I forgot my towel. And the lifeguard was kind enough to let me go and check the lost and found because I left my goggles here last time. It's kind of an exciting adventure. Maybe it sounds stupid. I don't really care. I'm so I really got my goggles in here, huh? I hope so. Life vest. Boys. Hat. First aid. Guard. Shoes. Yellow goggles. Really important. I'm not really, but I just want to use them. What's that? Standing waterboard? Alright, I did forget my towel, and you know what? What's lost is found, and I did find this My Little Pony towel. Dude, so this is going to be mine. All right. Thank you. I'm using this. I, I, I did find this My Little Pony towel. I'm probably, I'll, I, I'll put it back when I'm done, though, I promise, okay? You know, even though I really do like it, it's really nice. I got this entire pool to myself. I mean, the entire pool yard to myself. Nobody's even here. Not one person has been here all day. Look how nice it is. I mean, it is perfect. Guard said over here, as I said, dude, I'm the first one here. The first one to check in all day? She's like, yeah, you're first. I said, look outside. It's such a nice day. It's beautiful. It's sunny. It's beautiful. She's like, hasn't been sunny all day. You know, I told her, I said, I bring the freaking light. I bring the light, boy. And I mean it. It's not a metaphor. I actually bring it. Why? Because I soak up the light. I soak it up do my skin and optically. So when I come around, the light shines. Boom, back. Homing at you. All right, brother. So for the truth, the truth is I really got to do some yoga right now. That's what I need so bad. I need a little sun, I need a little relaxed time and do some yoga. I have leveled up big time. You guys ever remember playing a video game? Uh, was it uh, was it Zelda? You know, I stopped playing video games when Zelda was out. That's how, that's how like, dated I am. And I would say old, but I've actually gone backwards in age, so I can't really say I'm old, I mean, f uh, physically. So it's like, you know, that's how dated. But the bottom is like leveled up, as I mean, like, over the past couple of weeks, while I haven't had focus, as much focus on daily vlogs, and putting out content. I've still actually been gathering content and I got like a ton of backlog right now, like in doing videos, but which you'll see to come. I got a lot of good stuff, but what I'm, I've actually leveled up massively in my administrative rights and my power. And this is really, really important because if you want freedom, if you want to be completely free in life. And this is like literally what, what my ultimate goal is. I want to be a free man. I want to be free. Free. And I, I, mean, I want to be a free spirit, but I want to be free. Break the chains. Not just me. I want to free you guys. I want to free man, women. Not human. Human is not, humans are monsters. I want to free you guys. Because if I help you solve your problems, something unlocks in my brain, I can solve mine. I have level up in a major way in the way of understanding freedom and figuring it out on a on a on not on a spiritual level. Like if it were uh, if it were 2000 Yeah, so if it were like 2005, let's see if it were if it were 2007, I would say, well, I've leveled up on a spiritual level because I, I started reading the book Conversations with God 
I first I first saw the movie The Secret. Really opened my mind up a lot in the way of like what was possible. I'm like, wow, this movie The Secret is a big deal, and I started learning about Bob Proctor, and I started teaching it to all the guys there at my office. People coming in, like hundreds of people, and. I would say if it was 2007, 2008, I was like, I would have said I leveled up spiritually. And that was great and all. I thought that we were going to change the world spiritually. And I, I really thought that. And no discount to the power of spirit. like Because I believe that's the leading force and the guiding light and the way to go. But I, I didn't have a process. Like It was like, what the hell? What, what, what's this all about? And now I feel like I've actually figured out redemption. I can't really say that I have figured it out until it's done. That's why I don't really talk specific, in specifics yet or have anything to, to say, hey, do this, do that, because I'm not one to, to tell people to do something that I haven't done and tested the waters first. You know, I'm like, I'm like Mel Gibson and Braveheart. I want to go out there and lead the troops and be on the front lines first. Never tell a soldier to, to, to go out and fight unless I'm in front of him. You know, like George Washington, when he was president, he was actually out there in the front lines, president of the United States, fighting with the men. He had so many near-death experiences. I mean, it was like an angel guarding him. Point is, is that I want to I want to test and make sure, like, this is safe. This is this is freedom. This is redemption. But I'm doing it. I'm learning it. I'm I'm like getting this mastery course in freedom. And over the last couple of weeks, I've had a ton of focus on it little bit of a wait time from, from videos, and it has been leveled up. I've leveled up. It's moving faster and faster and faster. So, I just want to leave you with a quick little story. A, 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 an old video that I shot. I'll leave a link to on the end of it here. 2016 March. And it was a story about Napoleon Hill's solving the impossible problem. If you want to solve, you have a problem you're trying to solve. You're trying to figure something out. And you can't do it. You're stuck. Go out and you solve someone else's problem of equal or greater proportion. And then it unlocks some sort of cell structure in the brain. And gives you the answer to solving your own problem. Now this is something I've learned from experience. So today, over the last few days, I've been focusing like a lot of time helping a f friend of mine solve a problem of his which is the same problem that I have he doesn't really I told him actually that I have the same problem but he doesn't understand like that's irrelevant more importantly is I'm going to f solve the problem for him and then as I do that it will unlock how to solve my own problem watch the video at the end Gavin Mill coming at you bro it's a great day. I told her, I said, I'm going to come out here. This pool is going to be jacked. The party is going to watch. Not one person here. Baseball 360. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Bye. Already doing yoga, then you are missing out. Because I was literally craving yoga so bad. So I just did like 30 minutes in the sun. Got a freaking, dude, just totally killed it out there. Got a fly on me. Killed it, bro. Oh my gosh. So good. So good. More pumped after yoga.